Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 22 of my horror game tutorial series. So, today I'm going to show you how to make this little pistol shoot. So, let me show you what we're going to make in detail. So, if I go into play mode and click, you can hear there's a shoot sound. And in the console you can see we hit, uh, we hit an enemy, yeah. So this is what we're going to make and I will see you after the intro. Hey guys, so now we're inside of the Unity Editor. And let's start by first importing the things we need for this episode. So go to your Horror Games Tutorial Series folder, then go into the Sounds folder and then grab the pistol shoot sound and drag it into Unity and then into the sound effects folder. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's talk about what does shooting a gun in a video game actually mean. So, shooting a gun in a video game is basically doing the same thing we did for interacting. So, what do I mean? As you can see, we have this first person character camera right here. And uh, when we want to interact with something, we shoot a ray from the middle of the camera forward and then check if the object is interactable. And if it is, then we can interact with it. And shooting is basically the same. So we cast a ray from the middle of our camera and we shoot it forward. And if it hits something which has an, uh, which is tagged as an enemy, for example, and has a an health component, then we subtract the damage of our gun. And if the health of the enemy is zero, then it dies. So shooting a gun is basically uh, doing a raycast. And so that it feels like you're shooting a gun. Uh, you just spawn in part of the killer effects like the muzzle flash or a hit particle. You play animations like the shoot animation. And then you have a little more, uh, a few more uh, mechanics for the gun. Like, for example, reloading and a magazine size. So, if you think about it, a gun is actually pretty simple in video game terms. So, let's start with our simple gun here. So, go to our uh, to your scripts folder. Right click and create a new C sharp script and call this one gun or pistol. I'm going to call my pistol. Okay. Then double click on it and wait for Visual Studio to open up. So Visual Studio has finally opened up. So let's start uh, to write our variables. So the first thing we need is, of course, an integer which is our damage oops damage and we're going to oops hello oops so and this is equal to 50 and of course we make this public so that we can easily access it in our editor and change it later on if we so desire then we need a public integer which is our ammo, so our pistol will have 20 shots before we have to reload. And then we're going to make a public float. And this float is uh, optional because we don't need to declare range, but I'm going to do so. And I'm going to say this gun can fire 50 meters. Uh, you So you don't have to do this, this is optional uh, you only have to if you if you don't assign a range to the raycast then it will go on forever so the length of the raycast is infinite but because i think it's uh, useless to have an infinite raycast especially in a closed room like we have i'm going to set the range manually okay so then the next thing we need is a reference to our camera, so it's a private transform because we are only interested in the transform component of the camera. 
and it's called camera. Then we need a reference to our audio source so that we can play, for example, a shoot sound or a reload sound and so on. And I'm going to call this my audio source. Then we need a public audio clip. And this clip is the shoot sound. And the last thing we need is, no, actually this is it. So those are all the variables we're going to need for our gun. So let's go to our start method and assign those references we have here. So we are going to assign the audio source and the camera. So let's start by saying my audio source is equal to get component audio I can't type today, I'm sorry. Audio source. So we are grabbing the audio source of the gun. And then the next thing we need is the reference to the main camera. And we are searching for the game object with find game object with tag. Make sure that this is a find game object with tag and not game objects with an as plural because if it is with an S here, which is also a thing, and then this whole script won't work. So make sure that this is singular and not plural. And um, yeah, so trust me, I've made this mistake a lot. So just make sure that it is written like this. Then we are searching for the tag main camera. And now if we have a look at our first person character right here, you can see it has the tag main camera. So make sure that you only have one camera in the whole scene, which has the tag main camera. If you have multiple cameras in your scene because you are doing something like, I don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's and you have like all those uh, cameras uh, everywhere. Make sure that they are not tagged main camera because again the script won't work. So just make sure that it is tagged main camera and it's the only main camera in your scene. Okay so game object of find game object with tag main camera dot transform and we write this because we are only interested in the transform of the main camera and not in the camera component. Okay, so now in the update, it's pretty simple. We're going to write if input dot get button down. So what this means is it will only trigger whenever we uh, click. And so the pistol has the same fire rate as fast as you can click basically. So if you can click very fast it will shoot very fast and if you click very slowly it will shoot very slowly. So then which button? We are going to take the uh, going to write fire one. Fire one is a button already set by unity and it's basically a re reference to your left mouse button. And the next condition we have to meet is ammo is greater than zero. So this is important because otherwise we could shoot, uh, we could shoot, uh, we could still shoot when the ammo is below zero, and that of course makes no sense. So make sure you have this inside of here. So then the double curly brackets. And then we're going to call a method. And this method is going to be called shoot. And then we're going to write this method. So it's void shoot. And then open close curly brackets. And now we're going to do the raycast. So raycast. And then the raycast 
is as follows. So we have a ray called ray. It's equal to new ray main camera dot position. So again, we are shooting from the center of the main camera, and this is important because otherwise the ray will come out uh, from the center of your gun, and you won't be able to position your gun in such a way that it lines up with uh, with the crosshair. We will uh, later on add. So make sure that it's shooting from the main camera. So main camera dot position, and then ca uh, comma main camera dot forward. And semicolon. So it will shoot from the center of the gun and go straight forward. And then we need a reference to the thing the ray hit. So the variable the type is called raycast hit. And we're going to call this one hit. So generally speaking, if you do a raycast, just remember a pattern like this. It's always the same. It's uh, the same thing with the interact. A script as you can see is literally the same thing so just try to remember this pattern and then you can raycast as much as you want because it's always going to be the same pretty much okay so now that, uh, now that we've done that we have to check if our ray so physics dot raycast has actually hit something so we write this physics dot raycast and then Ray out hit, and then th you can see there's uh, an option for a layer mask. Uh, we don't. We are not going to use a layer mask because um, we perhaps want to later on instantiate a particle effect when we hit a wall or something, and because we can't put everything on a layer mask called I don't know shootable that's not even a word but uh, we can't do that so we are not going to put in a layer mask but instead we're going to put in our range so that the ray is only as long as our range and then we are going to write another if so if hit dot collider dot compare tag tag and the tag is enemy then we want to subtract health so or we want to damage the enemy so normally we would now put in the logic for uh, hit, uh, for subtracting health from the enemy but since we have first of all no enemy and the enemy has no health script we cannot test this so instead what we are going to do is we write debug dot log we hit an enemy yeah okay so now that we have uh, this we will instead have a message in our console which will tell us that we have hit an enemy and we can test this in just a second. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to play our shoot sound. So we write my audio source dot play one shot shoot sound. And the last thing we do is we write ammo minus minus. So this will subtract our ammo count. So now our very simple and very basic pistol is ready to go. So let's uh, put in all the variables. So the first thing we need to do is we have to select our pistol. And then we have to assign our script right here. And there you can see it wants a shoot sound. So let's add the shoot sound. So where is it? It's right here. Then of course we need to add an audio source. And I'm going to decrease the volume 
by a lot because I know this sound is very loud and I don't want to uh, hurt your uh, ears. Of course you can play around with the settings as much as you like. And now if I go into play mode and uh, click okay um so what's the error tag enemy is not defined oh yeah right so we don't have a tag uh, which says enemy and because uh, the pistol is looking for a tag uh, with the uh, with um, because the pistol is looking for a tag which is called uh, enemy and there is no tag to find this enemy it I, of course can't find one so it won't let us play because this could cause some errors so just add attack so go to tag and then add tag click on this little plus icon and type in enemy and when we are doing this we could also create a 3d object and call this cube and then put this front and then call it something like evil cube and take this evil cube as enemy so that we can test uh, if our script is working so now gate, uh, go into play mode and now if you click you can hear a pistol sound shooting and you can see in the console down here it says we hit an enemy yeah Okay, so now we can shoot as long we, as we have ammo, so let me try to shoot all our ammo away. So now you can hear I'm clicking on my mouse, but we are not able to shoot. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we are going to write the enemy health script. And then we have to add our pickup script so that we can pick up this gun in the inside of the safe. And yeah, so that's everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, as always, leave them in the comment sections below. I will answer as soon as I can. And if you liked the video, please leave a like. And also consider subscribing if you want to be up to date. And don't forget to smile, so until next time, bye guys.